Yo, what's up, dudes? Yo, guys, what's good? What's good? How are you guys today? Oh, it's really good to see all you guys out here during these times, my friends. Welcome to another episode of SF2 Mods with your host, E-Man Top Cool. And today we're doing another mod video, and we have some lit mods today. Um, we got some mods from Richard Morris. Um, uh, we're going to do Deku. He, he made this lit Deku mod. It's a lit mod, and we're going to be playing with this Kunkachi mod, bro, made by Ted. And this is going to be a lit, 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 this is gonna be lit, this is gonna be a lit video. And we got some lit stages here today, too, as well. It's going to be fun. I love playing SF2 mods, using these SF2 mods. I want to make more content out here, but, the, you know, it's fun to play these SF2 mods. And then they're getting better out here, like, all custom movesets and everything. It's a lot different than back in 2016, I tell you that. At least, was it 2016? This is probably the one of those. When it was a lot, it was a lot more amateur. We, like, we didn't even see mods that even covered, like, back in those days, bro, mods were really, uh, uh, are like, not that great, like, compared to how they are now. Now, it's like, it's more of a, this like standards now. Back in, in the day, just put it, like, a one sprite on a, one, on, on a character was amazing back in those days like <laughs> but now everybody's making custom uh, move sets and everything now this custom move sets are kind of the standard for mods these days like you having a mod with no custom move sets just like kind of kind of corny now well not to i wouldn't say corny uh no offense to people who do that because still some characters work with based off like the moveset that's uh, already there, so. But Deku, I'm playing with this Deku mod, and this Deku mod is pretty good. When I thought about, like, you know, Deku, if you ever got in Smash game, what would his moveset be? I, it wasn't like this, but, like, this is pretty good. Like, you know, think about it, like, he has the b ability to turn on full calorie or just use his full power. But the thing is, if he uses full power, he it damages himself. So it rack up um, his damage percent. Which is crazy, but if he uses full calorie, he uses it. He, he doesn't take damage when he uses attacks, but his attacks are less powerful. So it's kind of like uh, it's pretty interesting. Like using just his full. I like using his full power, but like then then now this Kakashi. I think Ted, right? I was talking to him the other day. I think he these these the AI. He was able to program the AI for these things. So not they're actually good. They're not stupid. They actually do. This Kakashi is pretty difficult, man. This is our. The gameplay is pre recorded. I'm just commenting over it. But this Kakashi, I was fighting him. And he's like, like, difficult. Like, difficult to the, the AI in this. The regular nines in this game, bro. Like, he, his move. What he's doing is like. I actually struggling against, against this dude. I'm struggling against them. Like, dang. Uh, and we play on this poor, poor Tetris stage, and you know I love Tetris. You know I love playing the Tetris, man. Oh my goodness! I like one of these days, right? Uh, there was like a blackout or something. I don't know if it was if everybody was doing it, or it was just my house, but it was a blackout, and we had, we, we went searching for candles, and we, we found this Game Boy in my in my bathroom closet. It was I think it belonged to one of my half brothers. Uh, and was just in the house, and I started playing Tetris under the candlelight, bro. That was the first time I played Tetris on the Game Boy. That was not. Uh, that was back in probably 2000. No, not 2011. It was some. It wasn't. It's not recent, but it was like probably a couple years back. And Tetris, I still be playing Tetris. I actually still have the game. I still be playing Tetris on my Game Boy from time to time. And people be like, oh, you still playing Game Boy? But Game Boys have good libraries, bro. Like, I still be playing Tetris. I played Tetris 99, but, like, I'd rather be playing by myself. Like, it's annoying fighting people in Tetris 99. Like, they, they're shooting you. It's a, like, I just kind of just want to play Tetris by myself and just get the high, the high score. No, but, you know, that's why I play the Game Boy from time to time. They added this new game. They added a game to SNES Online. I was playing it. It was like, um, it's Lipstick, I think. I don't know. I don't think that's the game, but if you probably know that, notice the character from Smash, you play Smash Ball or any Smash game. It's the character, like, the item, right? 
is uh it's a lips I think it's called lipstick. It's like this flower and you hit people and they get like poison or something. Basically that item that, that's the game where she's from, the character. I I, I think. I'm pretty sure because it's the all the same the same character. I've been seeing her in Smash as stickers and brawl and as spirit uh, as a spirit, I think. And she has has a costume in Ultimate, so and uh surprising thing, her song the song one of the songs from that game is in Smash. Surprisingly. That's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool to have, you know, these certain tries to be representing Smash and even just a little ways, not even as a full character. Sakurai must like that game or something. I don't know if he likes it or not, but it's like the fact that it's in Smash, like it has it has a good amount of representation in, in Smash. It's just interesting to me. But the game is fun. I like playing it. It's like you kind of like book jeweled, but in a, in a way. But it's like it's like bejeweled except you can't like match stuff from like. I ha it's hard to explain, but basically you only can match stuff from side to side. You can't like turn turn it around and match from up and bottom, only side to side. And it's pretty fun, like uh, f fun game. You definitely should play it. But I don't know why they didn't add no Donkey Kong Country on the SNS online. And I, I, people, you shouldn't complain about stuff. But like, this is as a business model. Like, you add an SNS game, you add in some games that not really many people. I mean, they, they rare games, and I, know, I guess not many people have the chance to play them before. But like, I want to play. I want to play Donkey Kong Country. Now, I play. You know, uh, my friend let me borrow his like Donkey Kong Country three game, but. I haven't really played the two or one like that, so I would be really cool if I got to play Donkey Kong Country on SNS Online, man. I, I, I know it's not. I don't think it's copyright reasons because of rare and everything, bro. I don't think it's that. That's the reason because they released it before, I think. So I don't think that's the uh, copyright reasons the problem why they can't have it on SNS, SNS Online. I do not think that's the reason. This is like Donkey Kong music. If it was the music, the Donkey Kong music is in Smash. So it's like Donkey Kong's main theme, not like the arcade one. The main theme that's based off the country game. It's like the country theme. The main theme for country is in the game. I think it's in Smash. So I don't think that's the problem, bro. Gameplay ga gallon. It's like it's in Smash, bro. Like I don't think that's the problem for why they can't bring. I want Donkey Kong Country on SNES Online. I really want Donkey Kong Country. NES Online, I think they have enough on it. Like, I know they can't add third-party stuff on it like that. I would like to play Castlevania on there. Castle Bros on there. But, man, like, oh, so, here we go. Can we play on this, using the Spider-Man mod? Ah, Spider-Man. Now, this Spider-Man mod is interesting, because, like, like, you know, Shore mods in, in general are interesting, because this is on Shore, but they're like, sometimes I won't realize that a mod is a Shore mod, because sometimes it feels like it's feels so, sometimes we'll feel like it's a custom moveset with Shore mods, but it's not, until you, like, you use side special or something, you won't re really, you realize it, for real, for real. Like, this mod is interesting, because it used Venom, um, the symbiote, and part of um, Spider-Man's attacks, which is cool and all, but, like, I don't think if, if Spider-Man was in Smash in any type of way, I don't think the symbiote would be part of his kit. Like he, it would, he can use it and stuff. I was, uh, it's, it's just interesting, man. I, uh, I like Spider-Man. I'm glad someone finally made a Marvel mod. We don't, we have a lot of Japanese mods, bro, and a lot of game mods, like mods with some video game characters and anime. But we don't have, we barely have any American mods. Uh, I think, I, I, uh, for the most part, I think. I don't know. I won't. I don't want to say anything crazy, but I think for the most part, the people who make mods are don't live in America for the most part. I think. I know, um, Red and Blue Rivals. He lived in my. He lives in my city. I think he lives in Philadelphia, if I remember correctly. I, I do believe he lives in my city. Maybe I should not tell people that he lives in Philadelphia. Does it matter? I, I think it probably doesn't really. Like I didn't give, I don't even know his address. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter anyway. So. But I live in Philadelphia, and Philadelphia is lit. Cheese steaks are lit. If any of you got young, young boys go to Philadelphia, get some cheese steaks. I mean, the place near my house sells these lit cheese steaks, bro. I don't think I can get them now because of the stuff that's happening, but 
But yo, those cheesesteaks, like pepper jack cheese, oh, honey mustard, oh, on my cheesesteak is just amazing. Ooh, it's this good. Mm, Spider, Spider Man, Spider Man. No, this part, yo, I wonder if the My Hero Academia and Marvel ever gonna have a crossover. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool, honestly. Because I remember there's like an Easter egg to Spider Man and like the. And My Hero Academia, I think the first manga actually. Just a little, like, you get. You see like a silhouette. Spider Man, My Hero Academia. It'll be interesting. It'll be, definitely be interesting. X Men in my hair I think it would be the, probably the most interesting one. It's probably the easiest one to do because you know, X Men school for super powered people. My hair acting here, super powered. It's, it's, it's all interesting, man. It's all interesting. It's just really, it's just really fun. Uh, it's June, man. It's June. June's coming up. It's still May, but June is coming up, and I'm really hyped for a lot of stuff in June. I mean, like the PS Five. Man, I don't know what, you know, if they announce, like, they, I heard some rumor about Sega announcing something. I don't know if it's going to be a Sonic Adventure remake or anything, bro. But, like, really, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for what they might reveal. Like, it could be something lit. It could be something cool. I don't know, man. But, like, I'm hyped for it. Like, I'm really, really hyped right now. Like, like if they announce any, like, I'm like a... See, I've been waiting for a next gen Sonic game and like and like a real like really powerhouse man. Like I don't be, like I want a Sonic game. If they put it on Switch, it'd be and it'd be cool. But like if they really can make it like next gen, like full using the next gen power to its full potential, it'd be really crazy, man. I'd be mad hype, man. If they can make a Sonic Adventure remake and it comes up, out, it's exclusive for the PS5. That's definitely a guarantee that I'm going to buy that console. Let's like if any crazy exclusive, bro. Bro, Kenny Hearts. I don't know about Kenny. I don't know if it ended, bro. I don't know if it even ended. Like, I don't. I don't keep up. With, I'm like a casual Kenny Hearts fan, but I don't really keep up with. I don't know what exactly happened at the ending of, of three, but like, if they make a new Kenny Hearts game and you tell me the Star Wars, right, or Marvel's gonna be in that game, I'd be. Man, I really thought it was going to come in this one. I mean, Big Hero 6 is technically a Marvel property, if you guys don't know that. So technically, it, Marvel is in the game in some way, but not, it's not really the same because they did, it's like more of like, the way Big Hero 6 is the movie, they changed a lot of the stuff, and it's, it's, and it's yeah, Marvel does that too in the MCU, but it's not like the, like, it didn't, it's not like, it, like it's, I'm pretty sure it's way different from like a lot different from the actual uh, comic that it's based on. Uh, but really, I'm just hyped for the PS5 and uh, arms. The arms character I think is, is either gonna be revealed or I, I'm pretty sure they said it's gonna be revealed what character it's gonna be. We know it's from arms, but for Smash Ultimate. But I don't know. If it, like usually they usually do the stuff when they show the character and then say it's coming out today and some people don't like that because I well, I mostly I think youtubers don't like that they like being prepared for stuff like that but I every time they say oh yeah this character's revealed and it's coming out today bro I was like it's hype bro cuz man it's just like the feeling of like knowing about a character coming out and that, that character coming out the same day it's just lit it's just a lit experience bro i love it you love to see it mm. but i think um one of my theories is if when they reveal the who the character is the same i think it's gonna be like some presentation uh like we usually are used to and then they go show um i think they might show a new character me costumes though me costumes have been pretty hype i don't know what me costumes they go show uh, I was thinking about it then. What was I looking at? I think I was looking at no, I don't think I was looking at something. Um it'd be something I feel like it like no one's talking about no one's talking about this, right? But Assassin's Creed is it has smash representation, bro. They gave we got a costume from Assassin's Creed. 
no one's talking about that. And that's pretty hype. That was pretty hype for me, at least. Yo, what's up, guys? How are you today? It's really cool to see you guys out here on the grind. I know you guys are on the grind today. Oh, it's you know oh, what, what I'm doing. Oh, I'm I'm doing another episode of SF2 mods. It's been a while, huh? It's been in good grip. But we back here at it again. We back at it doing these mods, and we're playing with Zero. Oh no, no, it's Sasuke. We're playing with Kid Sasuke. So I don't really watch Naruto though. I'm sorry if uh, my voice sounds a little weird. I was eating some tortilla chips just a second ago. Just a, a just a little snack. It was pretty. It was a pretty good snack, I gotta say. Well, like we're on this stage. I think it's from the series, uh, the season finale, or it's from the that season of Dragon Ball Super. I watch a little bit of Super. Uh, a little bit of it. Well. Uh, I watched the first season, so it was a pretty good season, I gotta say. Um, the first fight took a pretty good grip. I like the movie better. That movie is hilarious. Just a good movie. Wait, I love the movie. The movie is good, but I don't really like that. That season, this, like, there's some funny moments in the season, but I don't think I really enjoy it more than the movie. But, you know, we have, if we have Jared on here, Jared... Uh, I don't know about Jerry. I haven't waited to that season. I know. I don't know. I don't want to spoil stuff. I mean, maybe it's not even spoilers because you know how it is. And we got Isabel. We got Isabel on here. Wow, this Isabel mod is a really good mod, bro. It's, it's really lit. Uh, it's well done. Like, look at these the sprite art. Look at this sprite. This sprite. It's so good. You can't believe it, bro. You cannot believe it. Look at that. You see you see that? That's amazing. So we play with Kid Sasuke. Sasuke, I'm a very casual Naruto fan. I've played the games uh, of Naruto. Uh, the main game I have is the one on, what is it? The Wii. Let me see. I can't see it from here. Uh, from my shelf games. But uh, it's pretty... Naruto Class of the Ninja Revolution 3. Yes, I think that was it. Uh, I don't know if my uh, if I put the music on here on the stage in the editing process. I originally put different music that's not on the stage when you download the mod because the copyright reasons. You know, you never know what songs will get copyrighted. Um, so yeah, I put. Uh, wait, I probably didn't put no Naruto music here. I put like some Dragon Ball Z song or something. Um, from a good game, DBZ um, Super Sonic Warriors. You guys should play that game. It's on Game Boy Advance. It's a really good game. They also have a DS game of the se the sequels on the DS. I played it. Uh, I, probably, I, I only played it on online. I never played it physical. Uh, they haven't because it's, it's on Game Boy, so. I probably if I ever play it, I'm planning on probably getting up the physical version. Add it to my Game Boy collection. My Game Boy collection. Yes. Game Boy Advance. Uh do you guys have a Game Boy Advance? Who knows? I I have one. And I'm not going on that. I'm just saying it's cool. Game Boy Advances are cool. Oh, we took out is a bell. Whoa. Whoa, we did it, guys. We got that little W. Oh, we got that little W. Now it's time. We playing on this. We playing as Isabel now. Look at this. Look at that combos. Isabel. A lot of people was kind of mad when Isabel first got an ultimate. It made sense, like, she's a really popular Animal Crossing character. It made sense to put her in the game. You know, at least in my opinion. I enjoy her inclusion. And great to have her in this game. Uh, of Smash Ultimate. It's really great. And I haven't played Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm not interested in that type... You know, I'm not really interested in that style of gameplay like that. I mean, I played My Sims. I enjoy My Sims. I don't know if ever... My, if you don't know what Mind Sims is, it's kind of like, from what I heard from people, it's like a rip-off of Animal Crossing. 
And from what I've seen from Animal Crossing, my Sims is pretty much kind of same. But there's some stuff that you can do in my Sims that it's like, well, you can like collect. I don't know. I don't know too much about Animal Crossing, but this is what you can do in my Sims, right? You collect essence of different material. You can destroy different stuff, and you use that material to build things. Now you actually get to build how it looks too. So like, you have to do st make stuff for people, and like you can make someone a chair, but you can put like spikes on the chair if you really wanted to or make make the chair not even look like a chair so that's kind of cool in my opinion the only thing you need to do is just put the right essence everybody has an essence that they like so to like if someone like let me if I get this correctly if someone likes um water no it's not I don't remember too much of the game what essence were in the game but if someone likes the color green you need green essence, so you get green. You can get green essence from like a, a green apple tree, like an apple tree that drops green apples, basically. So it's kind of cool. I think I enjoy building stuff in that game, and I enjoy like making stuff. Like you can get more people to come to your town, and it's cool when you get someone uh, someone to come to town. I remember uh, the comic book guy or the arcade guy came. It was cool. I like the arcade guy. Um, you got the pizza dude. Oh, the pizza dude. Oh, yeah, that pizza dude. He shows up in all the other My Sims games, bro. My Sims is interesting because uh, you got recurring characters showing up. Like, you got the pizza guy. He, or uh, I don't think he was a pizza guy. He was a chef, but I always enjoyed watching My Sim make, uh, eat some pizza. It's a very enjoyable thing to see. Uh, My Sims a uh, Agents is a good. Uh, I I enjoy my Sims Agents because you got to be a detective and like go around look through stuff and you like solve mysteries and like the dialogue is really good. It's like it's really good the dialogue, bro. I gotta tell you guys the dialogue in my Sims is pretty lit. I, I gotta tell you, bro. The thing is, I, I it was on we had it on my old Wii, my old Wii, my black Wii uh, back in the day. It like broke. I don't know, the, the disk drive stopped working, so the save data of that my sense was gone, so... And it was like, when we finished the game, there was like one last mystery, and you had to like find it. I never found it. So, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. It's so crazy, bro. But I got a lot of weeds, you know. I thank God every day for those weeds, man. Those, I, like, I keep on buying, getting more weeds for some reason. It's just so easy, and it's like... Like, I, I could give away a Wii if I really wanted to. I, like, I got... But some of them have, like, exclusive games on there. The, the thing is, the one of, one of them got Mario 3 and Mario 1 on it, I think. The other one has Majora's Mask. Uh, I haven't... I played it, and I didn't finish it yet, so... One of these days, I'm gonna finish Majora's Mask. Uh, I cried during that joint, the first part. I cried during that joint. I was like, man... This thing got me crying. I'm just like, the reason why I cried, like, it was the first part, the reason why I cried is just, like, because of some certain things I know about the franchise, and it's just like, oh my goodness, I cried. I'm not going to even go into it, because I really want people, if they I never played Majora's Mask, the experience for themselves, but I cried during the first, like, during the first section of the game, and I was like, man, I'm really in crying, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm about to thank God for these Wii's I have, because, you know, back in the day, I didn't really have a lot of uh, game systems. Like, I have played PS2, and I did no, let me tell you what happened to my PS2, okay? Because something happened where my cousin was playing some racing game, and he was, t uh, my cousin and my brother was playing some racing game, I think, and all of a sudden they pulled the draw or something, I think, like that. So, the thing, the PS2 wouldn't turn back on, so I thought, okay, Let's like, just leave it for like a few days to see what happens. And I could never turn this thing back on. And for some reason, I thought, you know, let me put this thing in water to see if we clean it. And I put it in water, and I left it outside my house to dry. And then someone took that drone. Someone took the PS2, bros. They took the PS2, bro. Uh, then is the PS2 is gone. And then is. I love the games I played on it. Uh, my cousin, Ruben, he gave me Crash Bandicoot. I love playing. Uh, uh, he's the main. If it wasn't for Ruben giving me that Crash John, 
I'd probably never be a fan of Crash Bandicoot I am today. I love playing that Crash game. That game was hard, but I enjoyed, you know, like, going through it and like, making it through the next section. It was a really interesting game. I love Crash Bandicoot. And then, yeah, I, could, uh, I had Spyro at Hero's Tale. Uh, that's my favorite Spider game. It might be my favorite game of all time, if I'm being honest. I, so it makes me sad that a lot of people don't enjoy it as much as me. Maybe that because they don't have the nostalgia. I have mad my nostalgia for Spyro or Hero's Tale. I love Spyro. I love Heroes. I love Spyro and Hero's Tale. And it's just, I love that game. I, I, I bought it on GameCube, but the memory card, like... You need certain memory cards to play these games. It's really irking. It's really irking. I know, like back in the day when uh, I was at, I, thought, I felt like God wanted me to get, uh, was gonna get me an Xbox, and then, I didn't get Xbox that Christmas, but I got the Wii. I was like, I, you know, I'm very grateful I got a Wii because Wii. I, if I wasn't for the Wii, I wouldn't get into all this Nintendo stuff. Maybe, maybe never even became a Sonic fan. But I'm pretty sure I became a Sonic fan. Because of the Dreamcast, I never know. Because my cousin had a Dreamcast back in, uh, I don't know what, 2010, 2009. And then I played on that draw. I played Sonic Adventure, the demo. And I, man, I loved that draw. It was quite amazing, amazing game. And then that Wii I'm talking about is the black Wii. I lost that draw. This drive start working. You know, you know what? I just prayed to God to get. Uh, get, somehow get it fixed because that's the only game uh, game system I had and then but then my dad's uncle No, not my dad's uncle my dad's friend. He got a uh, Wii Mini. I, know, I didn't even told this dude that Wii was broken And I got it. So I think I saw that as like mirror from God And he got he got, he got me another Wii and, and you know that thing had the Wii game I wanted Mario Kart Wii on there and a new a Wii remote and nunchuck, a whole new system. The Wii Mini, people don't like the Wii Mini, but I was going to use the internet on that drone. Because I was going to really use the internet on that. But it was fun, so I enjoyed it. Uh, I, play, I enjoyed playing Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii is, though, it's so, I don't like Mario Kart Wii. Like, I like Mario Kart Wii, right? But like trying to get 100% of that game, it's so annoying. Like, it took me all these years to find out that you need like uh, a Super Mario Galaxy save to unlock Rosalina on Mario Kart Wii. You can do something else too, but you can, if you have the save fire, you can get it easily. I still need to go talk to my friend and, and borrow that Mario Galaxy 1 so I can just automatically get that. Because I'm trying to actually work 100% Mario Kart Wii. I still haven't unlocked Bra Bra Bowser Jr. in that game. Bro, I'm ready for Mario Kart 9 though. When they bring out Mario Kart 9, that's the strat right there, my guy. Mario Kart 9! Yes, Mario Kart 9. You know, if, I hope they make Mario Kart Ultimate, basically. Bring back every single track in the game, remastered. Bro, let me tell you this. And they bring back Double Dash, make Double Dash a mode. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. That game be a system seller, bro. Every Mario Kart game. There's a lot of people who love Double Dash, bro. And I know if they brought back Double Dash in some type of way, people would be hyped for that drum, man. People would be hyped. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, dude. They gonna bring, if they bring back Double Dash, bro. If they bring back every stage, bro. Listen, if they remastered um, Maple Tree Ray in HD, man. That's it. That's it for me. Oh, Maple Tree Ray, man. I love me. I love that stage, bro. I love that track. Maple Tree Ray all day, man. Oh, man. That music is so good. Mario Kart? Like, uh, Mario music is really good. I mean, like, I get so used to, like, the tracks from the main series games, but, like, the spinoffs have so, such good music. And it's, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. Like, super, like, Super Paper Mario soundtrack is one of the most amazing soundtracks out there. And like, you know, old people, I'm, I'm sorry sorry for calling old people old, but like, they be like saying, oh, today's music is trash, but they don't play games, bro. They don't, they don't listen to the music, movie soundtracks, because I can tell you right now, the past couple years, there's some been banners on the video game side, like straight up, straight up banners, bro straight up like that soundtrack to Age of Anatomy this year 
Man, that was lit. That was lit. Oh, that was lit. Oh, man. That, yo, Age of Calamity, bro, that soundtrack was straight fire. Oh, really good stuff. Like, really good remixes all around. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Straight fire, bro. And, like, I don't really listen to secular music like that. So, but I heard some stuff from Lecrae, Garby. Those are some Christian rappers I be listening to. And, and they stuff they dropped this year was pretty hot. Lecrae got on Spider-Verse, bro. You no, know, no, that's Spider-Verse. He got in the new Spider-Man game. Lecrae got some songs in there. He got two songs in there. I'm like, whoa, Lecrae. They put a Christian rapper in this role? Dang. It's crazy. I was like, Lecrae? Lecrae's, Lecrae's up in this? Man, Lecrae. They put Lecrae in this? Wow. I was like, you know, I was really proud of Lecrae at that point, bro. I gotta tell you, Lecrae's representing out here. Then he got, he got, uh, spark. Now that song was good. It was like, uh, 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 that song was lit. It was like, well, that song was straight fire, bro. Well, uh, the Jane Smith song was a good, it was pretty good too, though. Got, I'm not gonna lie. They were saying that someone was saying that they would try to get Jaden Smith. To play Mario's, I'm 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 with it. I'm with it. I, I think he could do a good job. I really enjoyed Jaden Smith's performance in the Karate Kid. So if he can bring that same energy, I think he can play a great Miles Morales. I love uh, I love Spider Man. Uh, I heard stuff about Spider Man Three. I'm hyped for it. I'm ready for Venom Two, bro. I'm ready for Venom Two, bro. I'm ready for Venom Two. This didn't that drone was supposed to come out. Um. Um, this year in October, but they they postponed it, bro. But, but I'm ready for next year. I'm ready for Venom 2, bro. When Action drops, I'm ready for Venom 2. Oh, I didn't. I, let me tell you this. I I like. I love Venom, the first Venom movie, but I don't think it's a good movie. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Because let me tell you something, bro. I'm not gonna spoil the movie for anyone who hasn't seen it. But I wouldn't say it's a good movie, but it's definitely hilarious. And it's definitely a fun movie to watch. I'm not going to lie. If you like the character, I think you will enjoy this movie. If you like the character, then I'm pretty sure there's a guarantee you will enjoy this movie in some degree. And I enjoyed the movie, bro. I enjoyed the film. I enjoyed watching it. And I haven't said anything about Zero, but Zero is one of the, when Ultimate was like um, almost coming out. I was really hoping Zero would have gotten, but then they, they confirmed he was an assistant trophy, but I, 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 uh, I mean, I really want Zero, but he's a me costume, I got that as well, so I enjoy play as him. I, would, I still kind of wish that Zero was uh, a character in the genre, he really lit. Zero, Zero is a, if, if there was going to be a second, um, uh, my main character, I really hope that I really hope it would be Zero. I really hope because he represents he can represent Mega Man X and all that. And Mega Man X has some good songs. Now, uh, they have they, the thing is, I won't I don't really play a lot of Mega Man X. Yo, guys, what's good? It's me, your boy E Man Top Cool, back at it again with these SF2 mods. And today we do a Minecraft special. Yeah, this was supposed to come out like a while ago. But I was busy with other stuff. So here it is. We do a Minecraft special. And it's right here. We're gonna play some Minecraft SF2 mods, bro. Yeah, uh they, it, like there's only one Steve mod I found. So I'm using some Animal Crossing because it's, it's like Animal Crossing is similar to Minecraft to a certain degree. So he, we, we're using this Steve mod by Cami XD YT. So it's, it's uh, I don't think it's fully finished, but we're using it. You know, it's Minecraft. We in it. We in it. We in it to win it. And we're about to cook some chicken on the skillet. On the skillet. I'm pretty sure you can make chicken in Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft for a long. I don't think you got really. I played some of it, a little bit of it. Uh, from back in the day, but my friend used to play on his iPod back in the day a lot. So yeah, that's that's how you know Minecraft is like 10 years old, guys. That joint came like in like 2009 or something. 
Yeah, so as you can see, Steve is over bottom, man. Makes sense to me, you know, you got the TNT, the bombs. So, Minecraft, I like, I, uh, I played this bootleg Minecraft. It was like islands on Facebook or something. Uh, it was like, you play as like these w white blobs or something. Uh, but it's basically, it was basically in Minecraft. I built like a pyramid with my friend, Ruben. Uh, it was interesting. Interesting content. Interesting stuff. And just, you know, you know, building creativity, building words, worlds. And it's all cool, you know. I think it's cool. It's like Legos. Like, I, I love playing with Legos. I used to play with Legos all the time. I don't know what happened to all my And what did happen to all my Legos? What happened to those? But, you know, those Legos I had were Lego do play, but... It's still pretty good. Lego do play is still good, pretty good Legos if you just want to build stuff. You know, just... Real Legos is more for... If you want to build a Pacific thing. But, like... Lego do play is lit, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Lego do play is lit, man. Don't be hating on Lego do play. Young boys be out here hating on Lego do play. Let me tell you something, bro. Lego do play is lit. You can build like a whole tower. You know, I really miss playing with Lego Do Play. Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, Lego Do Play was was the the jam, man. The jam, peanut butter jam, man. Like, like Lego Do Play, guys. You guys, what you guys know about that Lego Do Play? I think they still make those, but I don't know what happened to mine. I, I have no idea what happened to those drones. I, I don't know. I'm honestly trying to think about what happened to them. I, I can't figure out. Uh, let me give it them give them away. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Things are happening every day. You guys, you should probably ask. You should watch that that Silver Rental movie, bro. That's on. They put on Disney Plus. It, uh, it's like it's really cool. It's a really good movie. It has what songs? Whitney Houston's in it. Yeah, just search up um, Cinderella or Whitney Houston, and you should find that joint. That that song "Impossible" is pretty lit song in it. Pretty lit song. Definitely check it out, guys. Definitely check it out. Oh yeah. And we just playing um playing on the stage here. It's, it's, uh, um, Minecraft is pretty cool. Like I said, I'm glad that Steve's in Smash. It's cool. I've been playing as him, but it's like his his like it's, he's kind of hard to play as, and kind of hard to fight at, all at the same time. And he's a definitely a unique character. Uh, I always I, I always feel like I'm running out of material. On uh, like different stages have different materials, so it's kind of weird. Like you try to use. Like, the best stage for him is, like, his original stage because it has all kinds of material on it. This stage right here looks kind of similar to the stage that's in Smash. Uh, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Looks, it's really pleasing to the eye, honestly. Minecraft is pretty pleasing to the eye, honestly. If you, like, look at it, like, they put an array tracing on it in the, for Xbox, I think. Or PC, uh, they added ray tracing. I think I remember seeing something like that. Uh, I still like for the longest time I was waiting for Xbox to release Minecraft 2. It never happened, bro. I was waiting for them to release Minecraft 2 exclusively for the Xbox, just to see what what happened. Cause like I feel like a lot of people, if they like, there was one year at E3 where I really thought it was going to announce Minecraft 2. It just felt like they was going to release Minecraft 2. Uh, the thing is, I think the main reason why Minecraft 2 is not going to happen is because there's not much you could add. I guess. I don't know. I don't play Minecraft enough to really think about what they could add. Uh, I, I think they keep adding updates to it, so... Uh, if the game keeps getting updates, is there a reason to really make a sequel? Not really. So, this probably never going to be a Fortnite 2 either. Like, what do you think I... That's... Did they change the engine or something? I don't see them making a like something called 
Well, technically, Fortnite 2 does exist because it's a different chapter. But still, still, still Fortnite. Still Fortnite at the end of the day, bro. Still, still, just, still pretty much the same game. What well, the meta changes all the time. Uh, I'm really excited for the Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Because uh, I was recording this today, so it's, it should be coming out today. This video should be coming out today, and I'm hyped. Except for watching the game. Uh, I'm hyped for the next Smash character. I really hope it's Crash tomorrow. I'm really hoping for Crash, guys. I love Crash Bandicoot, and I really think he deserves to be in Smash. And there's a lot of characters that deserve to be in Smash. Honestly. But I really hope Crash gets in. He's on, he's on top three. Top three being Sora. Oh, wait, wait. Crash? Like, Sora and Crash are kind of equal in terms of how much you want them. Maybe Crash a little bit higher. Just have the most nostalgia with Crash. But uh, Crash, Sora, and Master Chief. My most top three most wanted characters for Smash right now. At it would be really uh, pleasing to me if they get in. My other characters was Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil and Laura Croft, but that kind of changes a little bit. Uh, Laura Croft was cool though. And they put her in, in Brawlhalla. They put in, they put a lot of stuff in Brawlhalla. It's really interesting. I wonder who else they might bring. You gotta think about it, cause it's like kind of random. It's not, it's not like fully random who they add to that game, but it's a little bit. Like they added Walking Dead characters in that game uh, the last time I saw. So it's pretty interesting, to be honest. Pretty interesting indeed. And they added Master Chief and Fortnite, which is the main like I don't really buy skins, so in that game. Uh, battle pass, I mean, that's the main way you get. I get skins. Just complete the battle pass. Uh, I bought the battle pass once. That's all you guys need to do. If you ever thinking about paying for Fortnite, don't don't buy skins because that, that that's a waste. I feel like like the games are physical. I don't. I feel. I kind of feel like that's a waste of money. Uh, so I just spent ten. I only spent ten dollars in this game. So. As of right now, of making this video, I only spent about ten dollars on Fortnite. About ten dollars. That's it. And you get a lot of skins. Just, just, just you save your V bucks and buy the battle pass every season. And basically, that's it. That's it. You get. And that's all you really need to do. I, I'm pleased with the skins I get. You get a lot of skins in the battle pass too. It's like. Last season, it was like, he got, he got like eight skins, bro. It's, a, it's a pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, bro. Pretty crazy stuff. And like I said, I was going to make Fortnite content on this channel, but it wasn't going to be gameplay stuff. It was more discussion-based because, like, like doing, guys, I got to tell you, if you're new gamers, like, making new game channels, making those gameplay videos doesn't always cut it. I mean, streaming is starting to work, but... You know, you gotta have a nice personality for that. Not saying that any of you guys don't have a nice personality, but you gotta have a nice personality if you're gonna bank, like, stream something. I, 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 I think my computer is strong enough to stream, but I gotta see, check some settings or something. People always tell me to use OBS, but I never really use that drone. Uh, maybe I should watch a tutorial or something. OBS? OBS, yeah, 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 oh, Spider Man, ah, 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 OBS, OBS. I'm sorry for that, you know, sending session, you know. It was interesting, you know, you could at least say that was interesting, to some degree, to some degree. Isabel is a great character, I'm glad that they added her to Smash, but I don't know, a lot of people were slightly angry when, when she came out. I did not think she was still in a spot, she deserved to be in the game. She's the most, it's like, she's one of the most recognizable anime crossing characters, so she deserved to be in the game. Would they ever put Tom Nuke in the game? I don't know. There's a, like, the characters I want for Smash right now, it's not for, a lot of first party characters. 
I know there's a lot of people who want first party characters. The ones I want is like Impa, Impa, Super Paper Mario, specifically, like from the game Super Paper Mario. I want his moveset to be mostly based off that game, but if they put Paper Mario in, they might try to give him a mix of all his games, but they might pick, pick, pick mainly one, honestly. But honestly, I can give you, I can come up with a moveset based on Paper, Super Paper Mario specifically. And that moveset I think about, bro, when I think about Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario being smashed, it's just amazing, man. Uh, Bandanity does deserve to be in Smash. Like, what, he, he, there's three Kirby characters, he's the fourth, basically, the fourth main character in the game, in the games, in the Kirby games. And so I think he deserves to be in Smash. Emperor, this definitely is surprising. There's not more Zelda characters that are in Smash, you know? So I definitely think Empa should be in the game, you know? Empa. I don't know who else. Like, one of the four champions would be cool. Or Volley would be cool, honestly, if they could, if he could actually like fly for a longer period in the air and like shoot arrows, that would be cool. Like, I know people wanted Decision Y for the Sun and Moon Pokemon. I'm sorry guys about that. I'm sorry you guys didn't get the character you want. I want more Incineroar, so I'm glad at, at Incineroar actually got in. I don't know if they could put a Sun and Moon Pokemon in the game. I uh, not Sun and Moon, uh, Sword and Shield. Uh, I know, I heard about electric, electric lizard thing, that thing looks pretty cool, so, that Pokemon looks pretty cool, I personally went in favor for that, I don't know if there's anything else, like Squirrel Bunny, like the other Pokemon don't look interesting to me as a Smash character, if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, no offense to the people who designed the Pokemon, it's just, Squirrel Bunny is the main character that looks the most interesting to me in that trio of starters. Score Bunny is the one that looks the most interesting to me. Score Bunny! <sighs> yes! Um, uh, I don't know which form now. Probably his final, uh, his th um, third evolution? I think it's his third evolution. Um, that's the probably the one I think it looks the most cool. Mm -mm. Just throwing some bombs, throwing some TNT. About to throw some TNT. Yeah. Here we go. No, oh, I'm kind of tired a little bit. Like, I went to sleep at like 3 something today. I should definitely go to sleep earlier than that. I always try. Kind of messed up. But, you know. You gotta keep on trying, guys. You know, you can't give up. You can't give up. Never give up on you. Never give up. Don't give up, guys. You, never, you know, never give up. And always cook up. No, wait, that didn't make no sense. That didn't make no sense, guys. Cook up where? Cook up. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. This is a Minecraft special. Minecraft. Minecraft. You mine and then you craft. Minecraft. Guys, I kind of ran out of stuff to say here. I mean, I hype for the direct tomorrow. I definitely hype for that. So. I can definitely tell you I'm hyped for the direct. Yo guys, it's me, E-Man Top Cool, back at it again. And we played on SF2 mods, but I'm playing on Project B today. And yeah, I didn't make call this a Project B video because uh, it, w it wasn't planned. So I just really wanted to play as Terry. Uh, but I might make more videos on Project B in the future. I might even make, honestly, I might make Project B my main way I play mods because we have a whole bunch of I can still place mods in this other other people's mods in this and it already has some good mods in here already so 
I, it's pretty good, to be honest. And this is a pretty good project. Um, the only thing is, it's like, it's just, it's just pretty cool. It's a pretty good project. And I'm here again with some more SF2 mods, guys. I know we back at it again. And we're about to play some more SF2. And, you know, this is pretty fun. And today, I usually live, I usually just commentate over my gameplay. But uh, today, I'm actually going to be playing the game. So you might be hearing my keyboard um, a lot today. I hope if, 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 it bother, if it bothers you that you hear my keyboard, please tell me because I don't like hurting people's ears. Now, Terry, he, he you can change the skin. Let me, I'm trying to touch it. I'm trying to, yeah, right. Oh, wait, where is it? Oh, my gosh. Right here. Wait, no. That was the wrong one. This is it. This, this, I like this color scheme for Terry. I like this color scheme. It reminds me of something. Is it the old, older games? I really like Terry. I like the Kid and Fire series. So, uh, we're gonna play as Terry first. And we'll go up against Genos from, um, uh, from One Punch Man. Here we go. Genos. And we're gonna play on the Vanishing Island from. Super Mario Bros. Z, thank you to Bob. I, it was Bob something, but I'm gonna say thank you to Bob. Oh, uh, look at this. Oh, you hear that? That's power dunk. We power dunking. Oh, oh my goodness. He's like comboing. I, the CPU is on level 9, bro. Oh my goodness. This is a custom Genos mod, though. That you, you like custom moves and all that. I made a trailer for this. And it only got 900 views, surprisingly. I would expect maybe people don't like Genos as much as I do. I like Genos. Genos is cool. Now, see, the thing is, you get the. You, I cannot really do his. Like, I can do this in Smash, but I can't do this on here. I, like, I just keep doing Power Dunk. I'm trying to do, like. Um, Where's the draw move? What is that move? Um, power uh, Buster Wolf. I can't even do Power Geyser. It's like it needs like like Smash. You have like leeway. Like you can just do it. You have a leeway in Smash. Like I'm trying to do it. It's not. It's not coming out, bros. Bros, it's not coming out. It's not coming out. Look, Power Wave. Power Wave goes off the stage a little bit. I don't know how I feel about Power Wave going off the stage like that. I think like the lore, it's like it's supposed to travel on the ground, but you know, you can, Terry can still do it in the air, so I think it's not that big a deal. That's some of the, the uh, Terry's powers is like he channels the energy of the earth or something like that. <sighs> Terry, Terry Bogard, he's Terry's an er orphan. I hope you guys know he's an orphan. He gets adopted by this dude named Jeff. Jeff Bogard, he and his, his brother Andy, and he, Jeff, I think, gets killed by Geese Howard, and that's when Terry wants to take him down in revenge. Geese Howard, because he, he killed his father. It's like a, I don't know, it's like, like that drawing. Like, it's, in, it's an interesting, Terry has an interesting story. It's interesting. He, yeah, he and his brother Annie, they train. They do stuff. They train! They do stuff, guys. They train. They do all that. Oh, okay. I go, I go do... Oh, man. I try to do it. Oh, man. What the? What in the world? Machine gun blows. <laughs> oh! Here we go. See here, they, can, they upgraded his up special to have a little bit more height than Smash, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, GG's no re. <laughs> Yo, Terry. Dang, that was Terry, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. 
Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go Janos and we're gonna go fight you too. We go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Something happened with my headphone. Like Mewtwo, that announcement kind of scared me a little bit. I thought someone was in my room for a second. Oh my goodness. Mewtwo! Oh my goodness. It's Mewtwo, guys. It's Mewtwo. Oh, we're on the Paper Mario stage, bro. Oh, take this, Mewtwo. Oh, he's not even shiny for him, bro. <laughs> Oh my gosh! He's trying to hit me! Oh, what the? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is fun actually live commentary because I can give you all my impressions. Oh man, Mewtwo just left. He left the building. Come on, Mewtwo. You can't be leaving. You can't be leaving so soon. Like, like leaving? Like, that was rude, Mewtwo. Missing the blows! Oh. Now, the interesting thing about this Mewtwo, right? Now, I mean, Genos design here. I think the person who mods this made Genos seem like his self. And what I mean is, Genos has good combo potential, but he has he lacks kill power. He can't. He 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 doesn't have the ability to take people out as easily. This is his best move, honestly. Like, like his smash attacks don't really do anything and. And in terms of like getting people out, it's like so strange. Cause Genos can like in later chapters of the One Punch Man, he he, he can he can do stuff. He, he's like he's stronger than most than a good amount of characters in Smash. I think like he can take Mark. I think I think I can say that proudly that I believe that Genos can take on Marth. I think, to be honest, I don't know too much about Marth like that. If who do you guys think Marth from Fire Emblem can take down Genos? Leave, leave a comment if you do. <laughs> leave a comment if you think Genos can take down Marth. Marth. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Yo. Mewtwo is out of here! Yo, I hope I, I, I'm not hurting you guys' ears by screaming, but Mewtwo is out of here. Mewtwo is out! Oh my goodness! But Mewtwo, we about to play against you two! <laughs> Oh my goodness, I got scared by Mewtwo's voice and got an announcer's voice again. Wait, wait, is that the actual announcer? This is definitely the same. Is it the same guy? It's definitely for the old ones, but like. It's interesting. Very interesting indeed, to be honest. Okay, we go go Mewtwo. Let me see if I can go at Shiny on here. Let me see Shiny. Oh, we got this. This is cool. I'm really gonna go with the pink one, to be honest. Wait, there was like a lot. I'm gonna go with the first pink one. See, there go. There we go. Uh, where's the stage? Oh, right here. Butter building from. Kirby, oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I have nothing else to say, I to say, or to be honest, after this, like, Terry combos, he might be able to do Buster Wolf, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to see if I, if I, I'm not gonna try to kill him, I'm trying to get him to 90 and see if he can do Buster Wolf, but he go, he might be able to, now knock me out first. And honestly. Oh my goodness. Terry! Terry, watch out! Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's see, let's see. Can you do it? He tried to, he did burst. He's, he's, I'm trying to see what, he, what he's gonna do. I'm trying to see if he can do it. 
he's, he's doing grab the toe. So he's doing he, he's doing the, the import that you would need. He, that was the most likely import to come out. But I'm not seeing Buster Wolf. I'm not. I have the knockout percent, so. I think he he's not doing it. He's not doing it, guys. I'm sorry. The the CPU is not doing Buster Wolf. Maybe the I respect the, the CPU to be able to do it. Uh to the project B guys, make it easier to do those no stuff. Uh, I I don't know if I'm overstepping any boundaries here, but I like I need to be able to I like I can't even do Buster Wolf. I can't even do power guys. Also the final smash, right? I don't think it works. Because every time I try to do it, even the CPU can't do it. Even the CPU can like, If the CPU can't do it, it that's a, a, then you can't do it, I think this is a problem. I'm not trying to insult, insult you guys, because you guys did good work with this, strong. I'm just saying, it just needs it. Also, it's really hard to do crack shoot, too, a little bit. I mean, it's not, no, it's not that hard. You can do crack shoot. It's just like, on command, it's like, it's like weird, but, you know, it's, it's understandable. This Mewtwo mod right here, though, it's actually pretty good, because you look at um, those moves, like, like, you see that back air? Look how fluid the animation is on that back air. It's like, really good. Like, it's like good back air. And back air. Mewtwo is good. Mewtwo is pretty good. Oh, he, he, oh, he didn't get me. I DI out of that one. Oh, oh my. Come on, Terry. Oh, da oh, oh Dane. Oh, Terry. Oh my goodness. Okay, Terry, stay there. Okay. Oh, he's, he left the building. Oh, grab. Okay, I'm gonna go for the spike. Oh, I missed. I missed that one. Shield pressure. Oh, oh, teleporting. Terry, come on. Okay, did that. A little tilt. Oh, spike. I wonder if I can, what, what I can do. This teleport is pretty, a little bit more. I can act, react out of it a little bit. I can like control like the positioning of the teleport a little bit. Also, you can slide a little bit on this. The side special. It's like a it, Mewtwo's actually kind of crazy. What is that? Oh man, I'm just playing a little playing around with Terry to be honest at this point. Oh, he got me with that. He didn't kill. Mm, that was a good one, Terry. I tried to hit him. Mm, I'm sorry, I have comment. I'm not trying to pay attention right now. I could try to go for more stars, like way to knock him out of here but it's not guaranteed bros okay oh I missed that one let me get out of his way oh that didn't Still living. Okay, I can't. Even. We got it, bros. Okay.
here we go. I'm gonna go Terry again for one last time, and we're gonna go get up against Genos one last time, and we're gonna go on the Vanishing Island. You wanna know why? Cause the Vanishing Island is cool. The Vanishing Island is cool. I love the Vanishing Island. This is a good stage, to be honest. It's like you got little platforms here and there. It's pretty good. It's, it's honestly could make a good competitive stage. I think the little hill drones though might might change, might affect it. But I feel like this is a good competitive stage. But oh, wait, I comboed into like a smash attack. You seen that? Wow. Oh my, oh my goodness, like, my, that burst sent me flying. Let me see if I can do a crack shoot. Whoa! What the? What was that combo? Well, I was trying to read, read something on him, but... Machine gun blows is kind of scary a little bit. But you gotta remember, guys. Genosaur has the knockout power. He does have that knockout power that he, he needs. Okay. We're gonna do. Who know? I'm gonna do like a crazy butter combination to do this. Oh. I, mean, I can't get to the ground. Let me get to the ground. Man, he acting crazy. Yo, let me go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, uh, oh. I just keep doing power dunk. Oh, I, if I can make power guys to come out, bro, it'll be hype. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? I did crack suit. Oh, if I can do power guys that. Oh, it's done now. I'm just gonna hit you with. Oh, oh I was trying to do the jump. Oh. You know that's pretty good. That's a pretty good way to end, to end today's episode of SF2 Mods. You heard it here first, friends. We back at it. We cooking. We cooking in the garage. Yo guys, it's me, E-Man Top Cool, and I'm back at it again, doing playing some SF2 mods, and I'm on Project B, the newest release by Project B, the Project B team. Now I don't know what happened to A, Project A. I don't know what happened to them. I don't even know if they even existed, but Project B. This is Project B. I'm playing it. I will try out some of these characters. I haven't tried these characters out yet from this new patch. So you're going to get my live reactions to this. No camera on today. Uh, I should get... I might, uh, You guys tell me if you want a camera. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be playing on this. Now, we got some cool stages to play on. Wait, wait, let me see. Where is the stage at? Um... Yeah, I know it is. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I wasn't expecting her to say Sonic like that, to be honest. Oh, what the? Oh my gosh. Actually, now that I think about it, I did play X. But I haven't played Amy, so. She got a little hammer. Oh, a little smash attack. Oh, that got him good. I got him good with that one. As you can see, I was playing, I put the difficulty on the CPU at, um, what is it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I put it at five so I can get a feel for it. Now I can put it at nine. Oh, wait, that's some good animation there. No bounce. You gotta bounce. You gotta bounce. I'm bouncing. Oh, good for combos, I think. Tail side special. Come on, Mega Man, give me a chance. I'm trying to try out the, the moves and stuff. 
Come on, Mega Man Knight, come on! Oh god, a little balloon. Oh my goodness. Let's see what the grabs do. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I was trying to see if I could spike with that. Uh, here we go. Oh. Mega Man. Come on. Here we go. Oh man, he hit me. Got him. We got him. Hey yo. We did it, bros. They using the classic Amy voice too. Not not classic Amy like in classic Sonic. I talk about like the the voice from like Sonic X. That's a good Amy voice right there. Okay, we found I found Link. He's right here. And let's go to the Gerudo Valley. Where's your Island? Where's your Island? Here we go. Three, two, one, so this is young uh, young, young Link mod. And it's pretty cool. I haven't tried it out yet, so I'm interested what changes. It seems it's pretty much like like the smash. Oh, we got two. This is cool. This is a pretty decent mod. Okay. Still have bomb arrows. That's cool. Here we go. Will you fall for it again? Oh, yeah. Where's my bomb? I threw up in the air. There we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Combo. Oh, oh, you see that? Oh, wait, what? Oh. Hey, this one here. Wow, interesting. Mega Man X. I'm not really saying this too much. I'm actually focusing on the gameplay right now. Link. GG. This game's winner is Link. And we played played some. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, go X right now. I'm gonna turn the Smash Ball. I'm gonna put the difficulty up on this. Let's play Town and City. This is really interesting in making an X mod because you have like a lot of potential and what stuff you can do. And it's like pretty cool. Oh wait, there's the there's a smash ball. Oh man, he got me. I actually survived that. Oh man, what bro? Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Stop! Bro, no way! I'm trying to get the smash ball! Bro! Please, you can't get this done. What? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. 
Nice. Take that. Take that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Wait. Free fall. Free fall. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. What's that? What's that going? I can't let him get that. I can't let him get that. No, not again. Not again. Oh, my. Oh. Not again. Not again. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay. GG's. Okay. We will go Amy Rose again. We will go out. Go against Yum Link. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it again. Bro, Yum Link is a mad aggressive. Oh my goodness. I gotta play more aggressive myself. Oh, oh, come on. I don't know what. I wasn't in, okay. Is that is that type of final smash? I didn't know what type of final smash it was. But I guess it's always good good to know, you know. It's always good to know. It's always good to know. Dang, come on! Oh my goodness, stay away! Oh. No! <laughs> ah! Why? I'm trying to show off the smash! I'm smash! Let me do it! Come on! Oh yes! I did it! Oh, whoa! Bro, that was for like Sonic Heroes. I actually did see that in like the trailer for this one, but that was actually kind of cool. He's going to go after Smash Bros. I gotta stop him. I don't want to use this thing again, to be honest, bro. That was like a whole cutscene. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna use it as pressure. <laughs> oh! Oh man! I gotta stay away from him. He got. He, oh, he missed! He missed! Oh! Hey! I wonder if that hammer can spike. Oh no! Dang! This is an intense battle, guys. I gotta tell you. This is an intense battle. Why? This AI on Young Link is mad aggressive. Bro. Oh, was that a clean hit? That was a clean hit. Bros, we did it. Uh oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh. Oh, I got hit. Oh man, I dodged out of it. Oh, that's incredible. That's incredible. Oh man, I'm surprised that did not get me out. Here we go. What is that? One day I can do this. Here it comes. Final. Here we go. Full power. Ah! Oh. Oh. This 
game's winner is... Amy Rose. Hey yo guys, it's me, E Man Top Cool, and we back. We are back at it again. We are back at it again on the game. You know, you know the name, SF2, and we playing with mods as you already know. I've uh, been a while, guys. It has been a while since we have played. Now my voice, I lost my voice a little bit because I was volunteering at a camp as a camp counselor, so I lost my voice, guys. So. I pray that I get, uh, get it back to full capacity. I, I think it might be at full capacity now. So if I sound a little weird in this video, uh, that's, that's probably why. Anyway, uh, we will play some, as you know, SF2 mods. And I'm playing with Ain, as you know. If you didn't see that Ain trailer I made uh, back in March, please check it out. You know, right now we will play some Mods, as you already know. Here we go. Boston say. We in Boston say. Now, guys, I gotta be honest. Like, it seems like there's a uh, like a lack, like a big lack of like stage mods being made by everybody. Like, it seems like. I find it harder to find stage mods, and like at this point, bro, Brandon Animates is like the only one who's making stage mods at this point. Like, it's like it's been something. It's been something. Oh, it's Smash Ball. I didn't even know I had this on. Okay, I'm in the Avatar State. Avatar Stating. This is the understatement. <laughs> Oh, here we go. The chaos. Sorry. Oh man, what is happening? Dang, that was crazy. That was, that was something. Here we go. Oh. Get him with the combo. Ice combo. I'm, I, oh wait! Oh no! Oh whoa! He actually got me with that. He actually got me with that. That was actually pretty impressive. That was impressive. I got it. That was impressive. Here we go. This stage is actually a pretty cool stage, to be honest. This is pretty cool. Like this opera in the background. Like that's pretty cool. Like this scene opera like that. I'm about to be, oh dang he fell off there he fell off like he fell off he fell off in the ice guys he, he fell that was a big fall okay we back at it we're going to go play with some Roy I actually haven't tried out this mod yet so I'm getting a little bit of my first reaction here let's see where is the stage at here we go here we go, Woohoo Island. Fighting against some. Oh man, Sh Shadow. Come on, bro. Oh, I still love the Smash Ball on. Oh man. Dang. That was powerful, Shadow. But you about to get hit with this. Oh. These combos, bro. War is pretty cool, I think. This is pretty good. No, the hitbox there. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, wow. That was interesting. That was intense. Oh, oh my goodness. Stop, stop, Shadow, please. No. No. 
I still got hit by it. I still got hit by it. I still got hit by it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Roy has some a good amount of combos here. Oh man. I still got hit. I still got hit by that thing. I still got hit by that thing. That thing has a good amount of range on it. Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. So we're gonna go over Distant Planet. What's Distant Planet? Distant Planet. Distant Planet. Okay. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna... Let's do. Let's do this. King of Fighters, bro. More King of Fighters characters and as mods is really cool, bro. This is awesome, to be honest. This is an awesome mod. It's really, it's like, really good. Dark Tremor did a good job with this mod. Mm. Yo, Roy is doing some stuff right now. Oh my goodness, Roy. Here we go. Dang. Okay. I get in the combos in. I get in the combos in a little bit. This is an interesting stage. What's happening? Oh wait, I think there's some glitch happening, guys. My, none of my taxes is hitting him. Is it the glitch with the stage or the engine? I have no idea what's happening. Oh, wow. What's happening? Oh. What is this? Okay, guys, so... I think the glitch happened because of the, the hazards were on, so it actually affected the stage somehow. That's why I assume it happened. I'm gonna try playing it on the stage again. But I I think it had something to do with the stage hazards being on on that stage in particular. We got it, we got it. These combos. I've been doing these lit combos, to be honest. Here we go. Like I said before, that this Roy is like has some skill on him, like, he got good combo potential. Okay, now he's doing too much. He's juggling me right now. Can I land, please? Let me land, please. Oh, yeah, finally. I just realized something. For some reason, where's, like, my percentage at? I can't even, I don't see it. Did that turn off? I think I turned it off. I, I'm pretty sure I have one stop left. Yo, what the? He's comboing like he's like changed. Oh, oh my goodness, bro. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, I didn't have one stock left. I had more than one. Please, Roy, stop sweating like this. Oh my gosh! Come on! Are you got you gotta be kidding me with this? The CPU, the CPUs in this game, the the modders know how to mod the CPUs. They know how to mod them. We're going Shadow and Avatar. Let's go Pokemon Stadium. Shadow is like, this is a pretty good Shadow mode. This is what I kind of expect Shadow to play like, and like if using an actual Smash game. You got the homing tag. Oh, that's a little bit combo potential there. Avatar Aim versus Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow, it's Shadow the Hedgehog. He's the coolest. Oh, oh man! There was a pit there. I didn't know there was a pit there. Oh, what happened to the? I did. I really turn off the HUD. He's in Avatar State. Can Shadow even compete with Ain on Avatar State? I don't think so because like Shadow has like that Chaos Control versus Avatar State. And Chaos Control is pretty powerful, but it probably could be Avatar State a little bit. I mean, like, it, as far as I know, the Avatar can't freeze time, so. Okay, this is terrible. Again. You know, guys, it's not always about the Ws. Sometimes it's about the Ls as well. That was a bad joke, but still. Again, I would say this stage is actually really good. I appreciate Brandon Animates for making these stages because, like, I can't find any, to be honest, bro. It's like, like before, back in the day, there used to be stage mods aplenty. Now it's like only a couple of people are making them. Okay, that did something there. I'm trying to get this calm down. Dang, he's surviving. The CPU is surviving right now. Take that, please. One more stop to go, I think. 
What was that? And he's going. GG's, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching the video as always. Hey, also remember, please leave a like and subscribe if you like this content. And as always, drink water and God bless.